you are welcome to my channel in this video we want to construct a parabola using an envelope method now and the question goes like this it says two lines oa and ob are at right angle with oa horizontal and ob vertical oa is 150 millimeter long and ob is 130 millimeter construct a parabola to pass through a and b using the envelope method you draw your horizontal line this way and you draw your vertical line this way depending on how you want it you can decide the line to be here i can decide it to be here so let me just put it at this junction here i put it here you can see that now on the by envelope method let's say said the question that tells that um, oa is the horizontal so let's say this is o a is horizontal and um, we're also told that OB is what is the vertical, right? OA is the horizontal and OB is vertical. So O and B is this somewhere around here. It's giving us the vertical. Now we're given the distance of OA. We're told that OA is 150. So I should be able to measure 150 from my meter rule. OA is 150 to this point. This is where it is. And OB is 130. So I measure OB from here. 130. So this is OB here. 130. So it's stopping at this point here. Now for you to use the envelope method, you have to divide the amount of number of spaces you divide OA will be the same you divide OB. So if I decide to use something that is comfortable, if I divide here into 8, I must divide here also into what? Into 8. Is that okay now? So what I'm going to do here is I can use my line division method and divide so let's do that and see i'll just draw i don't really need this line here so i'll just draw my horizon my division line here to be more easier just draw it this way and i'll mark it on that line so this will be from this point this will be one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You can see that? So using your line division method, you can just join the last point here to this point. Turn the last point here to this using your line division method, faint line, and you place your rule at one end here, and you start moving the other ones. I move to this, I'll be having this. Then if I move to the next one here, I'll be having this. Move to the next one. I have this. I move to the next one. I have this. I move to the next one. I have this. I move to the next one. I have this. Then I move to the next one. I have this. This is what we have here right so what i'll simply do 
I'll start labeling from this point. I can see here should be my point zero. This point should be my point one. This point should be my point two. Here to be my point three. Here to be my point four. Here to be my point five. Here to be my point six. We have seven. Then we'll go back to what? Eight. Now, since I divide here into eight, I must also divide here into what? Eight. Is that again? So I can do that into eight. And we'll do the horizontal. I'll just use the same line division method I used to divide that into eight. So let's see. I can just use this this way because of the space. So let me just push it up a little bit. So let's do this. And I'll mark. So we have again one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And I'll repeat the same process. I'll just join the first from this point A here to the last point here. I'll join them together. Then I'll start moving this on my meter rule. We we'll call it line division method. And when I hold this down, I'll move this to the next point, and I'll draw. I'll move this to the next point. I'll join. I'll move this to the next point. I'll join. I'll move this to the next point. I'll join then the same thing to the next point. I'll join same thing to the next point. I'll join this to the next point. I'll join. This is what we have here. So you know you discover that this is decreasing. Right from eight seven is decreasing. Why this will what increasing? So from here this will now be my zero. Here will become one. Right. Here will become two. Or better still, this is starting from eight here. Right. We are starting from eight upward. Now we now start from zero here. So this will be zero. Here will become one. This point will be what two. This point will be three. Here will be four, five, six, seven, and what eight. So what I'm going to do is, I will start joining all the points together, right? So eight, meeting eight on this line, and the next one will be seven, meeting seven. I see that right the next one six meeting six the next one um five meeting five right four meeting four three meeting three Two meeting two, one meeting one, then we have zero. Now, what do you notice? It has already brought out the shape. So, I'm going to draw my parabola, right? I will join it, my parabola, I will join it to be tangential to this point. So look at what we are going to do now. It will be tangential starting from point zero here to where they are meeting you can see they meet here this meet here this meet here the next one here the next one here the next one here 
I mean back to this point here. You can see that so these are the points I am going to draw. Subtract so from it. Come here too. Again here too. Again here too. So this is the parabola that we have. So this is the method of what we call it the envelope method. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Thanks for watching.